There is a lot of encouraging signs in the marketplace right now. Showing time data shows it, the MLS shows it, Google Trends, and all the big home sell portals are reporting strong numbers. Interest rates are still attractive historically. It's a perfect storm that all adds up to one conclusion. It's go time and you have an incredible opportunity to achieve all of your 2023 goals between now and January 1. Here is the catch though. You cannot just act like everything is normal and return to your typical routine. No, special times require special approaches. I have got four assignments for you to absolutely dominate over the next three months. Keep watching. Hey, this is Saeed Molson, residential real estate broker, team owner, and founder here at Real Estate Sales Machine Academy. If this is your first time visiting my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe below to get more insights on how to grow your real estate business. So assignment number one, decide what you really, really want and why. If it all starts with deciding what you want to achieve in the next 12 months. Remember, vague objectives do not get rewarded. You need to develop really clear, specific, measurable, and trackable goals. Then make sure they are up and visual. To take it even further, inject emotion to create that fire in your belly. Pain is two and a half times more of a motivator than pleasure. So what if you wrote a high dollar check to a politician you would never want that money to go to and authorize your coach or someone to mail it if you don't follow through. Add that leverage and you will launch yourself into massive action. Assignment number two, get permission to perform. Ever feel like there is just something holding you back from giving your all? It's time to eliminate that friction that's stopping you. You need to remove any resistance in your path and go. Remember, done is better than perfect. So here is a question to ask yourself. What is the resistance that's stopping me from putting in the time, energy, focus, and the results I want to produce? Take everything into account, including your family situation. Clearly define roles with your spouse or significant other your working environment, and more. Address the resistance and make sure you are all on the same page so you have a clear, unobstructed path forward. It's time to stop blaming resources and start getting resourceful. Assignment number three, redo your buyer or seller presentation. I can think of seven elements of your presentation that likely need refining, if not a total overhaul. I strongly recommend you take a look at this. Your pre-listing package, how you qualify clients and pre-sell yourself, how you start, how you present your marketing that blows people away and increases your value, how you educate homeowners on price, how you transition to show them what happens next, handling questions, concerns, objections, conditions and getting the signature. Stay tuned throughout this month as I will break down the ideal presentation on this channel. Assignment number four, identify four to seven daily disciplines that move the needle. You need strict focus if you plan to slay it over the next few months. You cannot wake up and decide what to do every day. You need a plan based on things you know move the needle. And more than that, you need to figure out how you will track them. Here is what I would recommend you adopt as daily disciplines to create massive results. Number one, morning routine. Start every day on a positive note and filled with confidence. Number two, data download. Look at what's happening in the market every day also builds confidence. Number three, role play and practice. You need to be extra sharp when talking to prospects and clients right now. Never practice on your clients. Make role playing a daily discipline to flex that muscle. Number four, appointment setting time. You know the drill. Block out 9 to 11 a.m. and 4 to 6 p.m. on your calendar every day and make sure you stick to at least five of those 10 scheduled sessions every week. Number five, goal number of appointments daily. You need a target you are aiming for when you start dialing the phone every day. That number becomes your intent. Without it, you are just hoping for results. Make sure you establish your goal. Number six, 
listing launches or marketing. How can you create listing launches so powerful that virtually guarantee a quick sale? Number seven, client services. Ensuring a sterling customer experience with each and every client will go a long way toward creating the results you desire over the next few months. So those are four assignments I would recommend you as a coach. And from you, here is what I ask. What if for the next six months, you stopped doubting yourself and started doubting your limitations? It's time to have faith in yourself. The market is the market. It's up to you to decide, are you going to be a victim of it or be victorious? Let's get to work. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you find this content useful, make sure to follow my page and check out my other videos for more insights to grow your real estate business.